So are we about to be invaded? Is there an alien spacecraft headed our way? Because right now there is a mysterious object that's hurtling through our solar system at 150 miles per hour. I saw what we're saying that it is indeed an alien spacecraft that's on a collision course with planet Earth. Others say that it is actually just a comet. But here's where things get a bit weird and why the truth about Comet 3 I am this is stranger than even uh, some of the conspiracy theories out there. So unless you've been living under a rock, you've probably seen the headlines that alien spacecraft to attack Earth. Harvard scientists warned of hostile ET probe. Seven mile wide ship heading our way. Things like that. It's been a crazy few weeks since July 1st. And that's when the astronomers discovered Comet 3 I Atlas. And yes, it is only our third interstellar object we've ever discovered after Amuamua on Borisov. That alone makes it incredibly rare and exciting. But here's where things get very weird. Harvard physicist Avi Loeb. Uh, now he's the same guy that did say that Oumuamua was an alien probe and he published a paper suggesting that uh, this current comet might actually be, uh, be extraterrestrial technology. Now the way he looks at it is this. The first thing about it is this trajectory. Loeb calculated that there is only a 0 0.005 chance that this comet would naturally pass so close to Venus, Mars and Jupiter. He suggests it looks like a planned survey route for deploying spy probes. Second is the timing. On October 29th, when it's as close to the sun, it will be hidden on the opposite side of Earth. Now, that's perfect timing to hide activities, he says. And the third is the speed in orbit. It's moving retrograde. Now, that's opposite to the movement of the planets. Uh, it's at speeds up to 32,000 miles per hour, making it almost impossible to intercept. And get this, it supposedly entered our solar system about 8,000 years ago, right when humans were developing early technology. Is that a coincidence? Loeb doesn't think so. And the media, of course, went absolutely wild for this. Headlines <laughs> screamed about hostile alien attacks, com attacks coming in November. Social media has exploded with warnings about a seven mile wide alien battleship. But here's the thing, and this is important even though himself admits, and I quote, by far the most likely outcome will be that Atlas the I, uh, Comet uh, the I Atlas is a completely natural interstellar object, probably a comet. So what's all the hype about? The guy pushing the alien theory doesn't even believe it himself. He literally called it a pedagogue. <laughs> So why does the actual sand so what does the actual scientific community say? Dr. Chris Linnett from Oxford called the claims about aliens nonsense on So what does the actual scientific uh, community say? You know, well they're not only bad, let's be like that. Dr. Chris Linnett from uh, Oxford called the alien claims nonsense on stilts and an insult to the exciting work going on. It's a bit of a, a blow there. And here's where what we actually do know. Uh, multiple telescopes, including Hubble and Gemini North, have observed a classic cometary coma. That's a fuzzy cloud of gas and dust that surrounds comets. Dr. Daryl uh, Sligelman from Michigan State confirmed it's displaying a classical signatures of cometary activity. But wait, what about the weird trajectory that everybody's talking about? Yeah, it is weird, it is strange, it is unusual, but it's not alien weird. The European Space Agency confirms its orbit is completely typical for an interstellar object and that tiny 0 0.005 probability it ignores observational bias. We're simply more likely to... Uh, it ignores observational bias. We're simply more likely to detect objects on these kinds of paths. And what about the lack of a comet tail? The comet is still beyond Mars. Dr. Samantha Lawler explains we wouldn't expect to see strong, volatile 
activity just yet. Now as it gets closer to the sun we should see more typical comet behaviour but it's hidden behind the sun during the perihelion. So that's just orbital, orbital mechanics at work. It's not alien evasion tactics. Totally predictable based on its trajectory and Earth's precision. Now here's the bottom line. There are no radio signals coming from this object. No course corrections have been observed. There are no technological signatures whatsoever. It's following a purely gravity driven path, gravity -driven path that will miss Earth about 170 million miles. That's nearly twice the distance between Earth and the Sun. And NASA says all evidence points to this being a natural comet. Look, I get it. We would all love to see the alien visitors arrive. But Carl Sagan said it himself, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. And right now, all the evidence points to Comet 3 i Atlas being exactly what it appears to be, an ancient, ancient fascinating comet from another star system. What actually is exciting is that this might be the oldest comet we've ever observed, possibly billions of years old and older than our own solar system. And it's giving us an unprecedented chance to study pristine material from another star. That in itself is incredible without making up uh, invasion stories. So no, Earth isn't under attack or threat. No alien attack is coming in November, but what we have is a remarkable natural phenomenon that is really teaching us things about our universe. So the real story here isn't about alien spacecraft, it's about how quickly misinformation can spread when you mix a little bit of speculation with a lot of sensational, sensational headlines. But do stay curious, but stay sceptical. And remember, the universe is made out, but stew. So stay curious, but also stay sceptical, and remember, the unicorn box head. So stay curious, but stay sceptical, and remember, the universe is amazing enough without 